New York officials have reached an agreement to legalize cannabis products for adult use. The agreement between state lawmakers and Governor Cuomo's office fulfills a push from criminal justice reform advocates to legalize the recreational use of marijuana in the state. Our 18 News reporter Ty Wong is live in the studio with the latest developments in this story. Ty. Good evening, Zach and Jordan. New York state lawmakers have come to a tentative agreement to legalize recreational marijuana. That's all according to New York State Assembly Majority Leader Crystal People Stokes. The lawmakers are set to vote to fully legalize it as early as next week. Officials have been pushing and advocating for this for three years. Today, I spoke with Assembly Leader People Stokes, who tells me why she's supporting and pushing this bill. Specifically, African Americans have had their entire lives ruined, and as a consequence, the lives of their children have been ruined as well because they've been incarcerated in very, very large numbers for very small amounts of marijuana. For me, it was created an opportunity to tax and regulate this product that destroyed so many lives, but use some of the revenue to invest in the lives of those people and their families so that they might get a second chance at becoming a contributing citizen. Now, the state sheriff's association is opposed to legalizing marijuana. They say it will result in more DUIs and lead to teenagers using the drug. Assemblywoman says this bill actually prevents teens from getting this drug. They would need a legal ID to purchase it from any dispensary. Now, as we wait for a final vote, 18 News will continue to bring you the latest on this legislation, both on air and online at mytwintears.com. Reporting live in the studio, Ty Wong, 18 News.